Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader here with your Monday morning market webcast. Okay, so we're still just kind of jammed up here. It's a big range to be jammed up in, but you're between the yellow line here, which is the 50, the, uh, the yellow line, which is the 100, the red line, which is the 50. So, I mean, you call the top of the range, you know, 77, 75 from a couple of Fridays ago. Um, yeah, you got, your, you got your low here at 12. So, I mean, just 50, 60 handles concentrated into a solid 20 to 30 handles of a range trade. And um, when, so we're compressed, but it doesn't really feel like it because we move pretty good uh, throughout the course of, of, of the sessions. And I'll, I'll take that every time. Um, so Friday was a decent day. Uh, 22 handles or so that wrapping up a 76 handle week in the month is 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 well over our 80 handle target um, as we head into today those of you that have traded with me for any period of time you know how I feel about Monday mornings I don't like Monday mornings I don't like when the market has to try to find its car keys and I don't like when we open up Monday mornings deadpan on the new weekly pivot. The new weekly pivot comes in at 26.50 half. We're trading 26.50.75. So that, that, that gets me in a mood right there. And that makes me just wanna sit here, drink coffee, let them fight it out, and then we'll figure out what it wants to do. Um, you know, one of the things about trading is you don't have to constantly be in every inch of the market all the time, all day long. You know who wants you in the market all the time, all day long, every inch of it? Your broker, okay? Um, you know, don't make your broker a hero this morning if all this thing wants to do is jam its way back and forth in and around 50. 2650, 50, the, the number 50 in whatever 100 handles you're talking about always tends to be important. It tends to, price tends to gravitate to the 50 area. It tends to fight over the 50 area because whoever wins the 50 area tends to get the next 50. So we're going to fight over 50 a bit, I would imagine, at least, at least through the open today. Uh, and we'll see if it carries out through the course of the day. Um, there's four days left in January. We're certainly in month protection mode. If the bulls can turn weekly pivot there into support, then they have to take out the highs from Friday. They ran out of steam here, you know, call it around noon, one o'clock the best they could do would be 72 half. So they did not achieve the prior Friday high of 77.75. That really has to go. And if you do that, then you're looking at the 200 day. Well, you're looking at the 100 day at 26.81. The 200 day is you know still up and around anywhere from 2,700 to 2,729, depending on what calculation of the 200 day you use. If the bears are gonna get it done, got to convert 50. You got to convert the weekly pivot. You got to go to work on some of these rejection areas that you look so bad in trying to trade below last week. You looked like garbage here bears and you looked like garbage here. And you didn't look real good here either. So you've got these three areas that you've got to deal with. You've just got to deal with them. Um, and you know, trading down to them isn't good enough. If you want the move down to the daily mid band at 2585, you're going to have to convert these price areas. Okay, so both of the scenarios I just laid out for you seems like a whole heck of a lot of work for either one of these sides to be able to accomplish at least this morning. So I'm expecting a fairly choppy range bound trade today while this thing tries to find itself. News flow is obviously going to play a big part. They've got the government provisionally reopened or whatever, whatever the hell it is they're calling it. Um, at least they can land planes at LaGuardia, you know. Um, so um, we've got to see what the market wants to focus on now. Is it China? Is it rates? Is it, you know, or is it, is it still, you know, all the politics of whether it's going to stay open or not? Or does the market just not care about anything at all? Um, I imagine the market is going to care about something. So um, keep an eye on 50. Keep an eye on these lows. Keep an eye on the Friday high, but a reasonable expectation is that we kind of gravitate today between 42 and 57. And anybody that can trade above or below that, that's gravy. Uh, but I will be, I'll, I'll be standing back at the open. 
I will be standing back at the open because this thing needs to find itself and decide what it wants to do relative to the new weekly pivot. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Join us on Instagram, 9.20 in the morning. We're gonna go live. Uh, we've been doing that every day. We were getting fantastic feedback on that, either from the people that watch it live or the people that watch the recording. It's just a glimpse into what we do in the room. And it's a, a just, you know, it shows just a little glimpse of what we're capable of doing and some of the value that we're able to add for our folks. So please join us. Um, it's uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm going to keep doing it every day because uh, it's it's great. This has got to be fun. I love putting out content. I love helping people. It just you know that's why I do what I do. It's awesome. So come join us at 9:20. We'll have some other stuff throughout the day. Uh, if you're interested, come on in. We would love to meet you. You're going to love what you see, and you're going to stay. Um, take care. Trade them well. I'll see you at 920. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.